Hello, my quilting friends. My name is Leah Day, and I have a super cute brick baby quilt pattern to share with you today. This is pieced using one of these super sized charm packs. And this one comes with 101 pieces. I think I pieced mine with 80 or 90 squares. So it's gonna go together really, really quickly. And the wonderful thing about this is there are no seams to match. So if you're a beginner at quilting and you're really worried about your seam allowance, being able to match seams, all that kind of good stuff, this is gonna be a quilt that allows you to break all the rules and get away with it and still produce a really pretty quilt. You just take your pack and you mix it up. Just take it and hand it to your toddler and let her run around the house with it or throw it in the dryer and get all of the colors completely mixed up and then start grabbing squares and making stacks. So we're gonna create these stacks of two and you wanna go ahead and use up most of your squares. So I would say if you're working with a pack of 101 like I am, you wanna go ahead and pull maybe 20 of the squares and set those aside, you will end up using them later. So I'm gonna take all of these, stack them together in sets of two, and then take them to my sewing machine. And this is gonna be a great project to just keep next to your sewing machine whenever you are switching between projects or whatever, you can buzz through some squares, and all you're gonna do is piece them together in sets of two, and then you don't even have to take them to your pressing board. You can immediately go into piecing those together in sets of four. So you've got four squares across. And then of course, what's the next step? To go on ahead and piece those sets of four together to create an entire row and that is a set of eight. So my quilt, I ended up piecing five sets of eight. So I used up 40 squares in order to make these nice long rows. Now we, of course, we've got those stagger those stagger rows. And this can be just a little bit confusing. So let me try and explain exactly how I created my stagger rows. So here you can see that stagger row is actually seven full blocks across. So whenever I was piecing those, I would piece my set of four and I have a set of those. And then I would piece a set of two to one of those reserve squares. You see, we, we reserved those, some of those squares uh, and set those aside. That's where I ended up using those up. So I was able to create a row of seven, and then we're gonna need to cut and piece in our little, little stagger squares. Here's where you can make a mistake, and that is thinking that, oh, I can just take a square and cut it in half. Well, that ends up being five by 2.5. That's too small. I found that cutting those little rectangles on the sides three inches wide by five inches tall, three by five was really the perfect size. I still ended up with this slightly imperfect jagged edge, no worries. You might be wondering about how to piece these long rows together, and let me show you how to do that. You're gonna take your long row of eight, and you've got a seam line right in the middle because you've got four and four, you're gonna have a seam line in the middle. Well, you take your row, uh, that stagger row with those partial ends, you're gonna fold that in half, match up the midpoint of that stagger row with the center of that row of eight, piece those together, and just let them in the way that they end. Don't try and force fit them together. That's where you end up with issues with puckers and pleats and that kind of thing. So once I started piecing the rows together, I just kept on piecing until I ran out of squares. And I love how this came out. Now, as far as measurement goes, it is eight blocks across. So that came out at 37 and a half. As for the quilt width, I did nine rows down. So let's measure that. And I have got 42 inches long. So really, really nice size for this baby quilt. So that's it, my quilting friend. I hope you have enjoyed learning how to piece this pretty brick baby quilt with me today. You can find a written tutorial on how to make this baby quilt at leahday.com slash brick. So come and check that out, share it with your friends, enjoy this free quilting tutorial, and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I will be quilting this quilt in a future video. We're gonna be quilting this with paper stencils, super simple quilting design, and because we had stagger rows on this quilt, I'm gonna do a stagger style quilting design. So if you'd like to learn what that means and how to do it, come and check out leahday.com slash brick. Until next time, Let's go quilt.